Well, after my DIY collaboration with Cut and Dry Lumber last week, I heard from several viewers who shared their projects using that local wood too. Really talented DIYers. So take a look here at what Melanie made. She made a desk using all of the off cuts from Cut and Dry Lumber's scrap pile. Are you kidding me? Look at this thing. Absolutely stunning. All different species of wood, but all from local trees that had to be cut down, which is Cut and Dry's whole purpose is to use trees that would have just been firewood. So look at this incredible table from Vanessa Mora. She chose an eight foot long piece of Siberian elm from Cut and Dry, which despite its name came from a local tree that had to be cut down. She's making a dining table and she poured that black epoxy down the center. Now she's just going to add the legs and she is ready to impress all of her guests. My jaw would drop if I showed up to someone's house and that was their dining table. I would just be staring at the black epoxy. Yeah, what a yeah. cool choice, yeah. right? It's beautiful. So I Googled, I, I think it's called Live Edge. Yes, Live those edge, tables. Yeah. And that's what we, we featured last week oh, on, okay. on DIY. Yeah, yeah, and those are super expensive if yes. you buy them at, you know, a boutique store yeah. or a furniture store. So, so DIY so. it. I wouldn't be able to do that. You just, you know, <laughs> if you paid attention last week, Kira, it's, it's doable stuff. I'm sorry.